I mean, what do you put into it? Well, whatever I sing, that's what I really mean when I can sing the song. I don't sing it if I don't mean it. Hey, Mike, can I have the mic back? <laughs> just, just for a second. You don't feel comfortable about it either. How long have you been singing? Three years. So you went to grab it right away, gonna snatch it right out of my hand. Was I right? Are you nine or ten? I forgot. Nine. You know, it's very difficult. What's with the O's and the O's? There's a few girls over there who want to take you home with them, and uh, well, who knows? How many, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have three sisters and six brothers. How come there are no girls in this act? Well, uh, most of our girls they get kind of shy, you know. Are you shy? Uh, no. No, I, <laughs> I kind of had that figured out. No. Is there anything anybody hasn't asked you by now? Um. I think they've asked me everything so far. I, you know, you read all the fan magazines and uh, 16 and Fave and Hype and Speck and Mickey and Mouse and whatever they are, you know. <laughs> this, this poor man's life has been dissected completely. However, there must be some questions because we got a ton of mail and I'm just going to rip off some of them. And if any of you here have some, you got a question you want to start with? Yeah. Um, no. I'm fine. You buy it? Yeah. What, what are some of the birds you have? Oh, a peacock, um, pheasants, parrots. Nickel bar pigeons. Do they, ever, do they ever peck you? No, not really. They know me. What are you looking forward to in the future, Mike? Um, recording other artists and going into acting. We get a lot of scripts in, but um, we haven't found the exact script that we want to use. So we're picking and deciding. I think you may be a big movie star one day. Yeah, I'd like to give it a try. Yeah, it's a good business to do. You got the looks, you know. Yeah. Fortunately, I didn't. Uh, what does it feel like to see that? People yelling, Michael, Michael. I'm two different people on and off stage. But I found a personality that's, uh, that's me. I can't get away from that. You're becoming like a stage addict. I really am. Like when there are off days and there is no show, I'm up at night dancing just to sing. It's really strange. I guess I'm an addict. Can't help it. I love performing. It's uh, I can swoop on stage. I hate leaving the stage. I was raised on stage, and uh, when I'm not on stage, I'm not as happy, and everything seems to be foreign to me or new. And I'm just now beginning to enjoy friendship, which is new for me. Friendship mm -hmm. with people other than in show business. Yeah. With ladies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is there someone very important in your life at this point? Mm, yes. When you look in the mirror, are you happy with what you see? In, in what way? Just when you look there, in terms of that social philosophy. Um, I'm never totally satisfied. I always wish the world could be a better place. Um, no, not at all. Hopefully, you know, that's what I do with my music, mm -hmm. bring happiness to people and uh, to bring joy. What interests me most about life um, is learning, finding out new things, exploring different worlds. Um, I'm so interested in the human anatomy now, the brain, and, mm -hmm. and um, so many different things like that, and the bones and everything. The color of your skin is obviously different than it was when you were younger. Yes. And so I think uh, it has caused a great deal of speculation, and controversy as to what you have done or are doing. Are you bleaching your skin? And have, are, is your skin lighter because you don't like being black? Okay, number one, there, as I know of, mm -hmm. there is no such thing as skin bleaching. Mm -hmm. I have never seen it. I don't know what well, it is. Well, they used to have those products growing up. I used to hear, always you bleach and glow, but you'd have okay. to have about 300,000 yeah. gallons. Okay, okay, number one, this is the situation. Mm -hmm. I have a skin disorder that destroys the pigmentation of the skin is something that I cannot help, okay? But when people make up stories that I don't want to be who I am, it hurts me. So, it is. You know, you're, you're, you've physically changed, haven't you? The photographs of you, if I look at them No, it's from... called adolescence. It's called growing and changing. Y yeah, but even the shape of your face has changed. No, it has not. I've had no plastic surgery on my face, just my nose. It helped me breathe better so I can hit higher notes. But are you, are you, Michael, are you honestly saying that you've only ever had one operation? Two. You've had two? As I can remember. Yeah, just two. But if I, if I look at some of the photographs of you, 
Just that though, not the whole face, just the nose. They try to say, why does he keep changing it? It's not true. It's just the nose, you know? Even though the shape of the face is different. Because I changed my... How have you changed? I was a little kid. I'm, no, I'm, I'm talking about pictures of you in your out. 20s. No, I'm still... I was changing. I was changing. I'm telling you the honest truth. I don't do anything to my face. Honestly. Honestly. Michael, what would you say to y your fans who have supported you through all of this and, and who today, some of them might have questions. What would you say to them? Well, I would tell them I love them very much. And I, I um, they've learned about me and know about me from a distance. But if you really want to know about me, there's a song I wrote, which is the most honest song I've ever written. It's the most autobiographical song I've ever written. It's called Childhood. You see my childhood. They should listen to it. That's the one they really should listen to. And thank you for your support, the fans around the world. I love you with all my heart. <laughs>